welcome back today we have a preview of all things that are to come and the content improvements that come with it this includes ultimate balby luna new void intercept bosses new ultimate weapons and all that fun stuff before we go any further into the video dpj wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and he's giving away ultimate descendants every week unlike most people his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos the more he sees of you the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week and also go join the discord it's linked below and help him build his amazing first descendant army so first let's talk about ultimate valby i am here on my valby i love my valby she's the best character in the game in my opinion and the ultimate version would probably only get any better and her her abilities are a lot of fun you know it's all about aoe and i know aoe is getting buffed and improved as well to be better but a lot of her stuff especially her mod for supply moisture just makes her so powerful and so much fun to use a little blurb for ultimate valby reads finally the magisters have completed the ultimate project for valby this ultimate equipment called sea of emerald has fulfilled valby's long-held desire it is a nano suit that replicates valby's former body color and texture don't know what that means although covered in a thin layer valby feels like regaining a long forgotten part of herself so that's probably just describing what her skin will look like i'm very excited to see what that is but she has also two transcendent mods firstly spiral tidal wave it replaces the bubble bullet which was difficult to aim with a projectile that fires straight spiral tidal wave attracts the impurities of gluttony making it an excellent choice for intercepting gluttony which is the new void interceptor boss which we will take a look at so i am quite happy that bubble bullet is being changed this move is great it's powerful but it's also inconsistent because if it hits any kind of incline it will bounce off in a random direction and get nowhere near the enemy you want to throw it at you pretty much would have to be on top of someone and throw it out and hope that it hits them as you can see i missed that guy completely and hit the one behind let's try that again you know i'm doing about eighty-three thousand damage with it I can hit with crits of this much, much higher on normal enemies. These are obviously level 100. I have seen it hit for like 750,000. So it's very, very powerful, but it is very inconsistent. So I'm happy that this is changing because I would like one that just fires in a straight line. It probably will do less damage than Bubble Bullet, but, you know, I'm happy that they've made changes to that. But I think her main transcendent for her ultimate will be the Hydro Pressure Bomb. Instead of Plop Plop, it leaps forward and deals damages to enemies around the landing area. The more enemies in the laundry state, the more powerful the damage, making Hydro Pressure Bomb a strong finishing blow instead of diving into the water. So Plop Plop is a great move. It does smaller damage than most of their moves, but it also causes knockdown. Whenever you go and use it on a group of enemies, it will go through the floor and kick them all up into the air. This is a great maneuver. It stuns enemies. It allows you to get the upper hand on enemies with shields. And I don't know whether the Hydro Pressure Bomb will also have knockdown. If it does, then fantastic. All it means is that probably the starting up animation will be shorter. You'll leap towards enemies and hopefully knock them down as well. But I've got a feeling it'll be more like Ajax's Stomp, which is great as well. If it's got good range, I'm happy for it. But I really want there to be knockdown because I feel like knockdown is a big, big part of her kit. So we will have to wait and see. But I do love the ideas they have for Ultimate Valby and I'm very excited to play her. And I probably will end up buying her. So here we go with Luna, a new descendant. The mad artist Luna has returned to Albion after a long wandering performance. Luna's synthesizer gun becomes more powerful when fired in rhythm, enhancing allies' abilities based on the performance. When Luna dances to upbeat music, allies' skill power increases, and when dancing to relaxing music, allies' mentality recovers and resource consumption decreases. So essentially, you'll probably hear music within the game when you're using Luna and you need to use your synthesizer gun in the same rhythm and get buffs and stuff for your allies. So it looks like she's going to be a full support player and support descendants are great, but so far there hasn't really been much use for them. Maybe in like top, top tier end game, there are a good amount of support 
and I feel like Luna will fit in in a really unique way. It's probably going to take a bit of skill to use her to understand how the rhythm works. So I'm excited to see what she has to offer. Her modification modules are Nimble Footsteps, enhances Luna's mobility and amplifies the effect range of her performance, allowing for more effective ally support. So she will just have a greater range with her buffs and stuff like that. Then we have Noise Surge, transforms Luna from a supporter to a combat dealer and i'm very happy about this because i feel like you know there should be interchangeable between support and combat descendants and she will dash towards enemies in rhythm dealing damage to nearby enemies when the inspiration gauge is full summons a stage to recover mental strength and shields provides enemies with a terrifying musical experience with noise surge so sounds great be able to do good damage i hope I hope that she's got really good damage because I don't want it to be just solely support. So very excited to see what Luna has to offer and how difficult her rhythm based abilities are. Next up, we have Gluttony. The mutated devourer type Gluttony is a giant that indulges in void energy, is equipped with systems to mine void energy and a cooling system to cool the heat generated during this process. To counter gluttony, you need measures to withstand its cooling performance and judgment to exploit its greedy temperament, intercept gluttony and collect new ultimate weapons and external components. So it sounds to me that like we're definitely going to see it have some kind of cooling system, which I feel would probably be based around ice. And then also it's talking about heat. So maybe it's got like a double element of, you know, heat and cooling. But again, another good cool intercept that added to the game. I'm glad that they are actually thinking about and introducing them on a regular basis because, you know, intercepts are fun, but they get boring when you're fighting the same people over and over again. So very excited to see. And, you know, I can't wait. I can't wait to try it out and see what this new one has to offer, especially with the ultimate Valby being supposedly, you know, one of her abilities supposedly works better against Gluttony. It just makes me feel like they're probably trying to get you to buy ultimate Valby to beat Gluttony. But that's just my opinion, not what's that what might not be actually happening. Next up, we have the new ultimate weapon, Peace Mediator. When mediation is necessary to bring peace to Ingress, the new ultimate weapon, Peace Mediator, is the perfect solution. This powerful hand cannon is effective even with single shots, but can unleash a burst of bullets to deliver powerful firepower under the right conditions. I don't know why, but in my head, it just felt and sounded like um, some sort of like Wild Western Fan the Hammer type weapon, but more than likely will be that it fires out multiple bullets at once you probably have to charge it up and then you know just fire out like six or seven bullets at the same time which sounds fun you know I'm, I'm excited for new weapons all the time and this one sounds cool and i really want to make a really good hand cannon build and it sounds like it could be the first time i invest into an ultimate weapon that isn't the thunder cage we also have a new ultimate module called rk concretion Provides RK concretion effect, which increases defense and mentality when using skills, but decreases movement speed and attack power. It is particularly useful for Luna and Ajax and can be a good choice for players who want the stable skill use. Your choices are free. Combine various modules to create your unique build. So it looks like something for tanks, something for defense, something for support, you know, just to increase the new character Luna. It makes sense. Um, you know wonder what it could be used for otherwise and what other descendants might find some benefits from it and then we have balance adjustments in the week 5 update we have decided to make balance adjustments for some descendants and ultimate weapons first we are adjusting Valby, Blair and Freyna who use AoE as their main skills we hope to see the descendants more effectively dominate the battlefield creating large AoE zones and leisurely watching enemies fall over from the rear Look forward to improved performance of these wide-ranged covering descendants. Now, I'm a bit surprised by this because using cleanup on Valby is pretty goddamn powerful. And I'm very happy if they're just improving it. But it sounds to me like they're probably improving it because of ultimate Valby. Additionally, there will be improvements to ultimate weapons that enhance critical hit chance and damage. Enduring Legacy, Secret Garden, and Nazistra's Devotion Hand Cannon, I can never say that name, will be improved to boast more powerful firepower with critical settings. Moreover, Greg's Reversed Fate will be adjusted to activate its unique effect in more chances. I love Greg's Reversed Fate, it just not, it's not that good, so I'm very happy to see that being changed. We are also improving the functionality of single shot weapons, allowing players to choose between single shot and rapid fire modes. So there are a lot of incredible changes here and they also have exciting new enhancements and fresh cosmetic offerings coming soon. 
so that's the full video everything that's coming up with the new patch in the future ultimate valve luna new void intercepts new weapons new mod draws everything i'm very excited about what's to come let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section thank you for watching i have been easy now you guys have been awesome